after her injury scare. Sharika Jackson has been scarce. However, her coach, ace coach, coach Stephen Francis, says, as far as he can see, she's okay. Does that mean she'll be good to go when it comes to the Paris Olympic Games in the women's 100 and 200 meters? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to go. You do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drop to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, enjoy the content. Please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Coach Stephen Francis is the coach of the fastest woman alive over the 200 meters and second fastest all time, Sharika Jacko Jackson. Jackson who is also one of the top five fastest women ever in the 100 meters, blazed to a season's best of 10.84, which is a far cry from her personal best, which she delivered last year in that event of 10.65. Now, Jackson has had a up and down season thus far, and many Jamaicans are walking around with their hearts in their mouth, so to speak, regarding the women's 100 meters, which uh, the preliminary round starts on August the 2nd in Paris at the Paris Olympic Games. Coach Stephen Francis has spoken with several media outlets about his thoughts on where Sharika Jackson is, his charge at this point in her prep. Jackson, of course, as I said, ran that per season's best apologies of 10.84 in the finals of women's 100 meters at the Jamaican National Championships, which makes her the third fastest woman thus far for the 24th fastest woman thus far for the 2024 season. Actually, the fifth fastest so far for the 2024 season in the 100 meters. It can't get any better. If it gets any better, then only a fit Elaine Thompson hero would have been added to this classy lineup. The men's 100 meter final. Great anticipation around the national stadium. Set. And across the globe. Set. Bang. Oh. Where they go. Kemba Nelson, Fraser Price got an excellent start. Tia Clayton is running the race of her life. Sharika Jackson turns on the afterburners now. Spectacular performance. 10.79, the flash time. Sharika Jackson, big performance on the big occasion. Sends an ominous message from Kingston to Paris. Awesome performance by Sharika Jackson, the world championship silver medalist reigning supreme we wait for the official time she kicked into top gear late and came home in 10.84 seconds tia clayton ran the race of her life once again 10. jackson will line up on friday against some tough com opponents including the fastest in the world thus far this year shakira richardson the third fastest julian alfred and the fourth fastest melissa jefferson then of course there's a five-time world champion uh, Shelly and Fraser Price, as well as Tia Clayton, and never forget Marie Jussi Talu of Cote d'Ivoire, as well as our favorite, one of our favorites, Dina Asher Smith. However, um, the great coach Stephen Francis spoke bluntly, as he often does, regarding his charge, Sharika Jackson. Listen and tell me what you thought he meant or thinks think he meant he means. Coach Sharika Jackson suffered what appeared to be an injury. I don't think we've heard from you or anybody else on an official word on the, the health status, the injury status of Sharika Jackson coming into the championships. What can you tell us about that? Well, I think that's something you're going to have to address to her medical person. But as far as I know, she appears to be okay to me. This is the injury of which Julian Ford speaks. And Alfred, but now getting into one is Sherika Jackson. She's a great 400 meter runner as well. Daryl Nietzsche trying to go with a good running in lane three there from Morrison. Oh, and Jackson pulls up. Not an abrupt pull up as Alfred takes it from Nita. And that is a great shame. So I was watching closely at this stage when Jackson, but you can see that she has got strapping on the back of that leg and it just is yeah that doesn't look good for Jackson it was at that point she would have needed to just up the F as Jackson and Jackson now this of course is my two cents 
Stephen Francis is not one for hyperbole, and he tends to speak rather bluntly. In fact, I think he often, um, uh, how would I say it? He, does, he doesn't exaggerate, he does a reverse. So he says she's okay. Those are his exact words. He didn't say she's incredible or fantastic, is in great shape, and he actually said that they need to speak to her medical team. But he says, based on what he sees, she's okay. An okay Sharika Jackson is a very dangerous Sharika Jackson, in my personal opinion. An okay Sharika Jackson is a Sharika Jackson capable of running something akin to a 10.70, 10.75. No one outside of Shakira Richardson has run that fast this year. So it means that uh, OK Sharika Jackson, if she remains OK, is a massive contender for the gold medal. I've been saying this all along. Once she's healthy, she cannot be counted out in women's 100 meters. Um, also, I remember the reports were that it wasn't a serious injury. She felt a cramp. She did the, the, the prudent thing and she eased up. The, her her uh, physiotherapist came out and said it was just a cramp, people, nothing serious. Of course, we were all holding our breaths. Now, what I find odd is that no one even said anything until, of course, Julian Fort had the presence of mind to ask Stephen Francis, big up yourself, Julian Fort, um, this question. But like I said, you listen to the answer and tell me what you think. Of course, it's all about personal interpretation. He doesn't seem to be saying that she's in the best shape of her life, which would be 10.65 shape. Um, but he does seem to be saying that she's doing well enough and I still think she will medal. I still think she can win the gold. Obviously, the clear favorite going in just based on the numbers has to be the American Shakari Richardson because by far she has the fastest time in the world, 10-7-1 thus far this year. So, uh, uh, Sharika Jackson, who is okay, I think, is a medal contender. There is no question in my mind, but this is my personal opinion. But she has had a up and down season. This has not been the best season for Sh Sharika Jackson. And every time we've seen her, she's been strapped up, which makes me get concerned. Now, of course, sometimes the straps are just to support, just in case, um, etc. So we will now come Friday, August the 2nd, what, what a clock a strike, as Jamaicans would say. In other words, if you're not Jamaican, it means what's about to happen. But I think... If she's even at 80 or 90%, she's going to be really, really dangerous. Um, remember, technically, the three fastest women running um, at the Olympics in terms of their personal best is Shakira Richardson, 10.65, Sharika Jackson, 10.65, and Shelly Ann Fraser Pies, 10.60, third fastest all time. So this is going to be a heck of a run. I still think Julian Alfred is very dangerous, very underscored. And I have this, this is now gut. There's a feeling I have looking at the numbers that Tia Clayton people going to, be, going to be a problem. I really think this. She's definitely going to get to the finals and I think she may surprise many people. So there you have it. Uh, Frano says that Sharika, is, she's good to go. Yep, good to go. And I'm just happy to hear that. Uh, just hope she remains injury free. Let's see what happens this upcoming weekend. Who do you have as your pick? I know the Americans are going to say Shakira Richardson and the Jamaicans are going to say Sharika Jackson. Uh, but everybody else, who do you think is going to win? Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, no, the like button. Remember, your Royals, Kings and Queens. Bless up.